so all right so i've actually i, I tried to pull out the recorded version on zoom but it seems it's not coming out so i try to do the the recording so that those people that miss the class will actually catch up so let's start the a to z of graphic design so when you think of graphic design think of the daily advertisement you see probably on your phone on your on your tv screen and everywhere you see advertisements the magazines you have in your offices the posters you come across every day the infographics you see on the website the book covers on your shelf the product labels the product you use the label they put right from labels there's all these even from your roll-on uh, sorry roll-on to your perfume those labels you put they are part of graphic design the logos you see every day the business cards the the road signs all these stop sign something something kilometer away all those stuff they are graphic design the website layouts mobile apps software interfaces so name them the list goes on these are examples of graphic design so graphic design is the list still goes on we have multiple we have we still have many things under graphic design that graphic design is touching so what is graphic design according to this uh, institute uh, american institute of graphic De uh, graphic arts they define graphic design as the art and practice of planning and projecting ideas and experiences with visual and textual content so the idea be behind graphic design is just to communicate with people to project an idea to people in a visual way so graphic design communicates certain ideas and messages in a visual way that's just the idea behind graphic design so graphic design helps the producer producer to connect to connect with the consumer so like i said the products you use from the label to the packaging all these stuff so it's just the form a, a way the producer are trying to to communicate with you to sell the ideas to you that okay this product is good so i can tell sometimes people choose their products because of the the look of the product so it conveys the message of a project event campaign or product so graphic design is just basically used for communication look at this advert the idea behind this advert is just for you to buy more coca-cola there's nothing special in it so this visual communication the two people facing sun sipping their coca-cola you can see the enjoyment actually you can see the the refresh the freshness the fresh or how do i call it the relax so the enjoyment they are from the sipping of that coca cola so that's the idea they are trying to sell to you i can tell you they say scan your coca cola to win and win prizes i can tell you probably from 100 bottles maybe you're just going to win prizes from only five bottles so the idea behind this is just to communicate with you to tell you something to share an idea with you that okay you need to buy more coca-cola so this visual they are just trying to tap into your emotions so graphic design can be used by companies to promote and sell products through advertising so when you are coming to this class you know you actually see a flyer then the flyer catch your attention you read the details and the read details resonate with you then you pay and you you, you eventually end, it, end up in the class so that's how graphic design is just used to communicate ideas with people so next thing graphic design can be used can be used to create um so infographics look at this um 
look at this picture you are seeing simple moves to get your stomach into shape so i mean basically if if, if you meet a, a gym instructor and they tell you okay i want my stomach to be in shape and they tell you to okay go and do crunches go and do long trees go and do stomach vacuum so you'll be confused that okay i don't know all these things before so why don't you just show me so the idea behind this thing is just to try to communicate some complicated information to you in a digestible way so that you'll be able to consume okay this is what crunches mean this is what they ask me to do this so that's that uh, stuff like that that's what graphic design is trying to cover so the next thing is that graphic design can be used by businesses to develop an identity through branding so check this cowbell from the right picture from the pictures on the right hand you can see what they are trying to tell you is that okay if you can't afford this you can afford this so maybe if you can afford this you can afford this and if you can afford this you can afford this is the list of their product so i think this one is around 70 or 80 so if you can afford all these big ones you can afford so as for this they are trying to tell you that okay we have we have cowbell milk we have coffee for those who take coffee we have chocolate and we have cowbell, tin cowbell. This strawberry, I don't, I don't even know if I've come across it before. But so the idea, they are trying to tell you that okay, all this we have it. So that's why graphic design is what they use to arrange this by their side, just to communicate something with the audience. So if you want to understand graphic design better, you must know the elements and principles that make up design so what are design elements design elements are used in conjunction or opposition with each other to create visually striking and impactful uh, impactful designs so um design elements are just like building blocks if you want to build a house so the first thing is to you know like do your foundation okay the first thing is to get your land right you can't just go to anybody's land and start building your house you have to get your own land go to court do the necessary papers get the necessary papers from the necessary sources start your foundation start laying blocks do your roofing uh do your inter internal whatever whatever Put your furniture and packing with your loads so you can see elements everything everything in their places you use plank when you get to the roof when you are laying blocks you use block cement so stuff like that uh, elements are just like building blocks of design what what to put what uh, sorry what to put here what to put here so that's just the elements the element that made up design so the next thing is the principle of design which is the just like the guideline the rules you must follow when you are doing design like i said if you are trying to build a house the first thing you need to do is get a land you can't build a house before you get the land the principle is that you must get the land of your own or somebody so if someone somewhere dash you the land okay and now it has become your home before you can now start building on the land so the next thing is to do your foundation then then the next then the next then the next so this principle is talking about okay these are your elements you have every element on ground now where to put these elements where to put it and how to put it so that's what principle of design is talking about a simple guidelines you must follow to, you must follow or you must adhere to to create an effective design so let's move to design elements like i said in the previous slide the element of design are best understood as being the building blocks of any project so 
the first element of design is line so line this is the primary definition of line that that's what people define line as but now i said line is more than that because line can be used to organize information it can use to define shapes it can be used to convey emotions so line is more than just calling it this uh, two point uh, sorry a single point that continues for a distance so because if you check this stops we are seeing here now all these things you are seeing they are made up of lines so tell me how can line be just a single point that so that definition that's why i say lines are more than that you can see we have horizontal vertical we have diagonal we have zigzag we have wavy and we have curved so lines play a big role in design so we have the second uh, element of design is shape we already know what shape is the shapes are areas forms or figures contained by a boundary or closed outline so we have two different type of shape we have geometric we have organic so geometric shapes are the shapes you know already like triangle circle square whatever whatever but this organic shape are these shapes with a little bit of designs i are seeing here so these are organic shapes so moving forward the, okay before we move forward if you look at this design it's made up of actually with the background it is made up of like four design elements this is one this is two this is three and the background is four so what you see in number one is shape this circle is one design element that shape so all these lines you are seeing and this and this and this there are another design element which is line so the third element you are seeing is this text the hidden gems of whatever whatever so that's the third element which is typography typography or you can call it font so the now the last one is this background which is image so you can see everything is arranged in a very proper way so the shape is placed correctly the lines are placed correctly the the fonts the typographies are placed correctly why the background the image is placed correctly so this is made up of four different design elements so moving forward we have another design element which is texture so these are example of texture so when you get deeper in design you're going to be knowing how to use all these elements one by one so the the next design element is what we call image image can be used to to create a connection with a text or you can you can use picture this is another name for image it's it can be picture so you can use picture to to connect with the text to tell you know to give more elaboration about a text you are trying to show people or you can even use picture on their own like you, you can use like when you are going to a place probably some places they use um they use just ordinary picture for to explain i don't know if you have come across how do i explain this probably if you are going to a place now and you just see by the door a hand that is telling you to stop so you can see it's an exa example of image but they did not put any text they just put the hand and in your head in your brain you know that this is what they mean so you can use picture to either connect to the text or you can use it to tell a 
can use it to send information to people so we have these three popular picture image formats we have jpeg we have png and we have gif jpeg and png are used for all these uh, normal design but gif is only used for motion design because it's it moves it changes so it's like animation so but different between jpeg and png is that jpeg has background why png doesn't so this is jpeg and this is png you know this png now you can use it on anything if you place it on yellow background it goes if you place it on blue background it goes but this pn this jpeg you can see the white background if you must use this on another background that is not black and that is not white you have to remove the background you can see that's the idea behind it so so this one now is you can only use it on white design you can see when i place it on black background you see the background the shape but this is just the way it is so that's the difference between jpeg and png so the next one is color color is used just like picture to connect to tell story to communicate with people so different colors have their different meanings different colors have their different meaning when you are doing a design for a hospital is different the color you're going to use is different from when you are doing a design for for kitchen so like when you're doing design for kitchen you can use all these red stuff like that when you're doing for an hospital or for a hospital you either use all green because it's, it's nature green is like nature anything that is nature or health stuff like that that's what they use green for so you can use one color in the place of another color so color tells story color is used to communicate color is used to to convey an information so that people will understand what you are saying so if you are designing like something like chili pepper and you are using green color people will, will not even but when you are doing that kind of design use red you know red is like seems like a peppery color stuff like that so we have what we call color wheel this color wheel what's what's color wheel? color wheel is just a circle with different colored section used to show the relationship between colors so when we're talking about colors we'll be talking more about this so the next one is typography so typography is just the normal fonts we use daily every in our documents you can see different type of fonts this 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 so these are the fonts we have and we have three different types of fonts we have serif which is this one we'll talk more about it serif are the font that have this normal this little little stroke at the end why sans serif are the font that has no stroke so sun means without without serif so the third type of fonts are these the this I, I forgot the name given to them but all these designed fonts so those are the third example of fonts so moving forward to the principles of design like i said if you are going to be doing a good design you must follow the the principles of graphic design so that you'll be able to produce an effective design you don't actually need to be a pro to to create a good design all you have to do is just to follow the normal procedure use your element correctly with the help of principle if you know the principle for doing for placing your elements very well you are going to achieve a very great design so let's start from principle number one which is alignment what is alignment alignment is one of the most important design principles we all know that one it helps to ensure a sharp 
other appearance for ultimately better designs by ensuring your various elements of design have a pleasing connection with each other. So alignment can be left, can be right, can be center, so stuff like that. Check this and check this. Which which one is more pleasing to your eye? You can see this one is well arranged. Everywhere is smooth. This one is so that's the idea behind the alignment. Check this place too. Very well aligned. This place well aligned. This place, this place, this place, well aligned. But check this. Everywhere is just packed together. So the same thing as this one. Check the the down parts. Check this side, check the top. Everywhere is just smooth, balanced, uh, aligned together. So that's the idea behind alignment. Make sure you focus on alignment whenever you are designing. So check my flyer now. Check the, the, the flyer that brought you into this class. Check everywhere. The alignment from this top, from this top. This one, the logos, check them here. So everywhere is just aligned straight and smooth. So no zigzag, no. The only thing you can see is only this because the text are not, but even at that, they still aligned, balanced. Check this place. So that's the idea behind alignment. So the second principle of design is hierarchy hierarchy is probably if you have multiple visual elements and you want people to focus on a particular or oh sorry you want to give a particular element an extra weight just to you know just to what do i say just to give it more visual way so that people will focus more on that if you check this design now, this is you can see from the example you say you will read this first. You will read this first and then you will read this and then you will read this. So you can see the hierarchy, the way the text, the size of the text is what makes you to read them so like that check the design again you can see this is the first thing you will read yes probably you read this one in second your high might not even come here but some people will see this okay this is a special offer of, so let me grab it to that's when they now come to okay this is our I'm paying this amount. So what exactly am I even learning? You see, okay, ah, this is interesting. Though. So then you go to okay, this is how to pay and this is how to get access. So stuff like that. Giving your design a well hierarchy will help your design will help your people to focus on the most important part of your design. So the same thing as contrast. Contrast is just to use to, to lay emphasis on a particular aspect of design like this check marvel studios they put contrast on the marvel so that the name will be more people will see the name the name will remind in their brain in their mind anytime they come across this okay they know this is marvel studio check these four kinos so i didn't mean these four kinos are white or the five of them are white so your your attention will not even go to anyone you just be watching all of them generally but since we've painted this red you can see when you stumble or when you come across this design the first thing you are going to look at is the red design is the red kennel so that's the idea behind the contrast leverage on contrast to highlight important design elements repetition so repetition is just like repeat repetition of colors, fonts, stuff like that, words, any design element you want people to 
you know your bandwidth check this google stuff now the colors all their design they use their complete color so there's no no one will tell you that this is google that you know is google this is google mail gmail this is google calendar this is google drive this is maybe google video stuff like that this is their google location whatever this is google pictures so see the the repetition of colors you see we have green green blue uh, green blue red and yellow so those are the colors they just use continuously interchangeably they just changing the way they arrange the color in all their logos so i don't know where exactly this but what makes me know that is from google is their color so repetition of color or anything matters a lot in design look at ibm repetition of shapes oh uh, sorry lines you can see they use lines to draw the to, to draw their IBM repetition of shapes shapes repetition of shapes the same thing here the same thing here so this a uh, Microsoft is repetition of what shapes as well so this four boxes so the next the principle of design is proximity proximity is just like arranging different particular design elements together you can see this one element actually i have like one two three four five six but they are the same of the same type these are pictures arranged in one area these are text arranged in another area the same thing in this design so that's what proximity is trying to tell you so when you are organizing your graphic elements consider proximity consider using proximity principles so the next principle of design is balance so balance gives the design form and stability the same thing check this place so if you see the demarcation the lines you can see everywhere is rhyme looking at this picture you feel like okay it's hard for you to bring out mistake from this design because everywhere is just smooth everywhere if even pleasing the eye the way you're looking at it so the, that's what we call balanced make sure you design your designs have balance so we have two different types of balance we have symmetric and asymmetric symmetric is achieved by arranging elements on either side of the center of the composition in an equally weighted manner why asymmetrical is just opposite so that one occurs when you have different visual elements on either side of a design and yet they still seem balanced so this symmetric this symmetric balance you can see all the shapes are the same from this side this side they are the same this side this side they are the same so but if you check this big small but see here they still balance these two shapes this one shape but they still balance so that's what they are trying to the idea behind symmetric and asymmetric balance you can check all these designs now check from here this is asymmetric this is asymmetric this is symmetric this is symmetric you can see the balance but see the balance here but they are not of the same size so this one as well so they are this the 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 shapes the the white space and the cream space so you can see they are balanced but they are not the same in size so that's the idea behind um symmetric and asymmetric balance so moving forward the last principle of um, of design is what we call space so space in design we call it negative space we call it white space and sometimes we call it breathing space so when you are designing make sure you give your design a breathing space so check this place everywhere is packed together so it doesn't make sense that's why they cancel it but check this place the flow text 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 
aspects so everywhere is following accordingly the pictures so you can check the the space between each element this is the logo but in this case now you may never be able to read all the text because they are packed together so that's the idea behind the um, space and we have two different type of shape and uh, space as well we have active space and we have passive space so active space is when you deliberately leave a space so that people will focus more on a particular side of your design like this design on the right hand side you can see all these spaces all these spaces are left there purposely so that your you focus on this place but if you check this other one which is passive um, passive space you can see these are just like natural space that's, that must be in between your tech in between your design so that everywhere will look more appealing to the eye of the reader so that they will be able to read without any problem so that's the idea behind space so and with this we have come to the end of today's class so so far we've talked about design elements and we've talked about the design principle don't forget elements are building block so for a great design why principle are just the guidelines you must follow to create a better design so in simple term so if you have any question just feel free, feel free to drop your question in my dm so see you in day two